Hello again everybody, strap in for this classic Dave Grohl drumming track, It's No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. There are just too many cool fills and great triplet runs in this. You might want to start slowly, but once you get it up to scratch, it is so much fun to play. Let's jump on the kit and check it out. This song kicks along at a pretty good pace, but for starters we're just playing quarter notes going from the toms and then onto the snare and an open hi-hat. Sounds like this. Now I'm going to play through the next 8 bars and as I'm sure you know, it's a pretty straightforward beat but it just has little variations here and there. So in these first 8 bars we've got 2 of those variations, so I'll play them for you now. I would definitely recommend playing those last two snare drums in that triplet fill with two left hands. It's going to make it heaps easier to launch back onto the right hand and continue the beat. Speaking of which, let's keep going. The next four bars go like this. And moving on, once again, we're going to pick up that little triplet fill. The chord changes here, we're just going to open the hi-hats a tiny little bit, and we've got one other variation that's just two snare drums right at the end of the bar. We loop back through that section using the same variations and fills, so I'm sure you'll be able to work that out nice and easily. And then moving on, we're in our chorus where it gets a lot busier. So let me start with the first four bars and the first fill. So I've only notated the main accents in that triplet section, but if you want to keep a continuous triplet going on underneath, it works really well with the sticking and makes it nice and easy to play. Have a muck around with it. If you haven't done this kind of fill before, it will be a little bit challenging, but just take it slowly and eventually you'll get it. Moving on, this next one is a lot easier, we're just playing crashes, groups of six in triplets, and it sounds like this. So that one is pretty straightforward, it's the next one that's a challenge, where we're doubling the first note out of a group of three, which is more commonly known as herters, H-E-R-T-A-S, if you want to look those up, and we're just moving them around the kit, from the stand up to the first tom, and on the last tom, down onto the floor tom.
there's definitely a little bit of a challenge there for your wrist and fingers, but if you can work these out, they're fantastic. I use herders in my playing all the time because they just sound really cool. And then the last one, we're just playing groups of triplets, moving right and left hand on the crash cymbals that sounds like this. So that wraps up the chorus and then we go back into our verse again and I reckon that's covered about half of the song because we're just going to use exactly the same things in the next verse and in the next chorus as well except for one fill in the chorus so let me break that down for you now. sounding great so far. There are so many good drum bits that you can grab and use in your own playing or just to jam along to this song. Kicking along, we're into the bridge and we're going to play crotchet triplets on the kick drum against quarter notes on the crash cymbal. It shouldn't be too hard, but I'll play it for you slowly so it makes sense. Fill at the end again slowly. For me with that fill, it makes it easier if I just picture that I'm moving right across the kit. I'm kind of starting out with my right hand over on the hi-hats, onto the snare drum, and then everything moves right onto the toms. So hopefully that helps out because we do have to play it a bunch of times in a row in the second part of this groove. The way that last fill breaks down is we're in triplets, but we're kind of thinking groups of two because we're going hands, kick, hands, kick, and then moving the hands from the snare drum onto both thumbs. That is a really great fill as well. All right, moving on, we're just going to play pretty much rolling triplets right the way through, but we're going to add a bunch of different variations. For starters, once again, I've only written the accents that I can hear, but you could totally keep the triplet going underneath and that'll make it a lot easier to play. Moving on, we've got triplets on the snare drum with a crash on beat one. Next, we scale those triplets right down and play crashes on every beat, and then we're into our hurters again. drums drop out for a second, we've got a bass riff, the vocals come in, and then when we come back in we've just got a little drop off fill on the floor tom like this.
We just use some of those same variations that we used from the beginning of the song for this last bit, and then the outro is exactly the same as the intro, and it sounds like this. And there we go, that is the drum part to No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. There are heaps of cool drums in there, heaps of chops that you could use for drum solos, your own songs, or just jamming along to this song. Have fun with it everyone, I'll catch you at the next lesson.